we spoke about some legends. Mm -hmm. Did you catch Monique special on um, Netflix? I didn't, man. And I've been friends with Monique for a lot of years. I hear about all the mess and the conflict and I, I really don't keep up with it. She's a cool person to me. We've always been friends, but I heard about all the craziness, but I didn't get a chance to see her special. Did you see it? I saw it and um, like, what is the, can you kind of like brief me a little bit about, cause I'm really, I don't really, I'm not up on it. What was the, the latest beef? I knew about the stuff with the whole Netflix and she felt, you know, the money and what you're giving the men and what you're giving the women. But just tell me about the special. Was it good? Was it not? Was it angry? Was it upset? Was it bitter? Was it funny? I mean, no, I didn't no, see. No. You know, I, I think that um, I, I would say I would say it wasn't angry. Mm -hmm. I don't stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she she addressed the the the. the I, I mean, we all know what she went through to even get right. on Netflix, right? Right. But it felt it felt like she could have went in more. Um, similar to even with Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. Chris Rock did an hour and change and gave seven minutes to what people really wanted to see. You know, this is why we tuned in. Same thing with her. I, I don't, I, and this is just showing. I don't think it was her funniest, but I don't take anything away from her as the legend that she is. And I pray to mm -hmm. God that she actually got the money that she deserved. But mm -hmm. with that being said, you know, she went out there on a limb um, for, for equality in terms of pay. Mm -hmm. Pay me what I'm worth. I don't, I don't know that that special said that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. At the end, when, when, when it's all said and done, I don't know that people left and said, you know what, girl? You was worth every dime. That right, you right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right. It, it, but sometimes, I, sometimes all the mess can get in the way. You know, that's the unfortunate part because she is funny. Chris is funny. Like when you see, he only gave you seven minutes of what you came to see. First of all, in defense of him, it ain't easy coming up with a whole new hour. That's number one. Yes, that was something he had to address. But he also wanted to know, hey, man, in a year, there's a bunch of other shit I want to talk about, too, because, you know, your special can only be so long. Get what I'm saying? It's not like, and then, you know what? You're, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because then if he had got up there and did a whole hour about the Oscar shit, then it's like, okay, nigga, enough. Can you tell us about some, you know what I mean? You can't please everybody. That's one thing we learn in this business. You, you can't please everybody. You no, I, I, I people definitely- People gonna love you. At the end of the day, it helps them sell tickets on the road. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, it's, it's a, it's a interesting position, both of them as comics will put in. Yeah. You know, how much do I give to this thing before people are like, yo, enough, what, what else do you have that's new? But the, the flip right. side of it is, this is the reason why people came to begin with. We, True. we, we understand you are who you are. Yeah. You're going back the house regardless, but, but we know why we here. Mm -hmm. So. It was an interesting position for, for both of them yep. to be in. Yeah, that's true. So, I, want, I want to touch your brain on something. Um, mm -hmm. you, you are you are from the left coast. You're 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 <laughs> central, born and raised, mm -hmm. hundred percent Californian. What what is it about that place? Like like California, La La Land, Hollywood. I don't watch some of the best of the best in, in, in going. We can start with the Dave Chappelle's of the world that just mm -hmm. seem like they done had meltdowns in front of the world. Like Cat Williams a few years ago, like this nigga done just completely lost it. Martin Lawrence, who I love to death. <laughs> like, like, just, like, what is it about California that seems to just break people? Like, like, and these are funny dudes. Like they, 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 their therapy is what they do for a living. And Hollywood still seems like, nope, you chew them up, chew them up, spit them out, right? A hundred percent. Uh, let me tell you how I avoid all that. I'm from here. So it's a huge difference. We always say, uh, I grew here, you flew here. Mm. Very deep. 98% 
all those guys you mentioned, and I just happen to be a, a dude that's cool with everybody. They all are imports. They all came from somewhere else to come to LA to become a star or whatever it is. When you're born and raised here, all the so-called Hollywood bullshit doesn't affect you the way it affects other people. I truly am the same guy as I was before the fame, before TV, before movies, before making millions of dollars doing what I love to do. So the, the Hollywood bullshit kind of just bounced off of me and trickled off. Like one of the number one questions I get, you've been in this business 30 years. How did you avoid the drugs and the alcohol and all the gay stuff and all that stuff? I'm like, well, I'm gonna start with, again, I'm a nigga from South Central LA and I grew up seeing it in my family and destroying my family. Mm -hmm. I had two or three cousins that have overdosed. I grew up around Crips, Bloods, gangbanging, killing, street shit and all the shit that you would see. So like, nigga, coming to Hollywood was like going to a country club. You get it? Yeah, yeah. I saw it before I got there. Why the fuck would I fuck with drugs when I have two cousins that overdosed? I didn't get the, you know, people that come, come from LA and they're like, yeah, this is the parties. This is what we do. Like, oh, it's new. Let me try something. Let me do this. Let me, no, no. It's not on the block. I saw it at my grandma's house. It, 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 it was in my face all day, every day. So I'm not gonna just now all of a sudden start because I'm at such and such's house. I'm not gonna mention names. I've been at some of the biggest stars on the planet. And the cocaine is passed around like M&Ms on a goddamn fruit plate. Damn. And I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still gonna have a ball at this party. All these women up in here, we gonna have a good time. I just don't do that shit. That's the shit that fucked up my neighborhood. That's the shit that killed my cousin. Nigga, that's the shit right there. You go to jail and fucked up for life. And like, how many more examples do we need of how drugs and alcohol fucked people up? But a lot of times people come to this city googly eyed. Well, if that star does it, if that star does it, if I'm at this party, nigga, I'm at the Playboy Mansion. It, what we do here. No, that, that might be what you do here. But that's still the shit that fucked up my family uh 20 minutes from here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's I just I think it, the reason I didn't get caught up in all that bullshit because I grew up here and it was nothing new to me. Think of how many people it's new to them when they land this place. I'm not talking about drugs, drugs and alcohol is everywhere, but People are weak when they come here. So when they get around stars and people, they feel like, well, if he's doing it, it must be okay. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you, you, did you have a backbone where you lived? Before you got I mean, yeah, cocaine's bad here, but isn't it bad in your city too? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell, I want to kill you anywhere. I don't give a fuck where you're from. You know, so. Nah, it just seemed to be something about that place that turned people out, and and, and it has taken down some of the biggest stars. Absolutely, you know. Absolutely, I had too many examples of how it could fuck your life up. So it was a no-brainer to not go down that road. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, especially even in your community, because I'm thinking off the top of my head, like, like it's going back. You can think of, of the Richard Pryors. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, 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 to address that, right, since the beginning of time, if you didn't know, comedians have always been known as damn near the lower echelon of the entertainment, meaning we're the stereotype, we're the alcoholics, we're the drug addicts, we're the depressed guys, whether we turn our pain into laughter and pressure. Like, that is the 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 dark cloud negativity part of what we do, but I'm here to say, not all of us, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, and with you saying that, you get weak people that well, the greats did it, so I might as well give it a shot. You know what I mean? Not, not if you have a backbone. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video, truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.
makes every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.